Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to the next video tutorial of survey system and in the survey system that is the dashboard that, that is incompleted right now but I will complete it uh, for your uh, prospective view and this is the that is the um, view of your admin that can check that is the survey field ID that is one that is ABC. So how much uh, is unsatisfied from this ABC that is one and very satisfied that is two user and uh, that is the from this field. Okay. So this is the survey uh, result uh, that is checked by that one and you can see that uh, if we have to log out on the survey system and just register it uh, another user that is user two user three at the rate of cmail.com and that is the password okay so here we have a user 3 at the rate of gmail.com and the password and the confirmed password okay so everything is uh, completed right now so after that user can just uh, make it survey okay and that is the survey and these are the fields so if you are the admin then you can just add a new survey field like that you can say that but it's access denied so uh, first of all resolve this uh, part of the access denied by using the configuration application cookies so just resolved after that but uh, if you are a user and just i want to uh, put that uh, something like that so just here we have very unsatisfied unsatisfied and that neutral and just, yes i just uh, would use customer service in the future but uh, how can we improve our uh, service nothing to display nothing to uh, nothing to say uh, anything so uh, like that and just click on the submit button and we can see that uh, here we have a successful uh, customer review is successful done so you can see that uh, oops here we have a uh, debugging point is hitting right now okay so here we have a successful message so here we have a customer survey dot success message so just uh, customer uh, you can say just open your customer review and these are the parts of the project and just open the area of your customer accounts and the controllers survey controller and you have to design uh, your survey controller start survey and finalize so uh, here we have a view and you can see that uh, here we have uh, the home controller and there is a, a customer controller and here we have a surveys just similar uh, just I want to add a uh, success.html file now, now that so just add it here new view Rachel view view and the Finally, that call is success. wait for some times it will be generated the view okay so uh, your success uh, uh, that is success message that is class is uh, okay survey completed successfully okay. 
save this and just run it again. And also, uh, we will configure that our application cookies in the program.cs file. So here we have program.cs file and just you can use add scoped. Builder dot services dot configure application cookies and here we have some options dot access device path is that is identity path so it's control dot and uh, you have uh, some path of the identity so there is the slash identity that is an area message and uh, here we have an area that is the identity part and that is the account and the next one is access tonight that is access tonight So here we have and option start login path is similar that is account and login options dot logout path that is logout okay so save this and it will run it So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos for uh, the related to the survey system. Okay, so wait for some time it will be done. So this is the survey system and just click on the register button and here we have a user activity that is user4 at the rate of cmail.com click on the register button okay so here we have and just click on the survey button and here we have admin and dashboard and just I want to make it survey first of all so survey that is user 4 and that is very satisfied sorry it's not a very satisfied satisfied neutral and also neutral uh, no uh, nothing and just click on it the submit button Okay, so just remove this breakpoints and continue and you can see that the customer uh, survey and that is the message is success message but it's not hit uh, surveys that not surveys that is Okay, so later on I will discuss it and uh, you can see the result of the survey uh, by using the admin, so admin dashboard index and you can see that in the form of the chart, the data will be posted on the, there is the survey fields, survey field 1, survey field 2, these are the detailed view of your survey system. Okay, so after that we will call uh, that survey field is hidden by the users. So only admin can just see that part of this survey field. So just shared folder under the layout. Stop this. 
and these are the survey keys so at the rate if user dot is in role that is admin then user can see the details okay so also you can use this part of this area and the controller is dashboard controller and index that is dashboard okay so save this and after that you can see part of the area will be hidden so you can see that the, uh, that is the default survey system is working so if we just got it on the survey so just only the customer can uh, log in into the system suppose just i want to uh, log into the admin account and you can say that uh, admin and that is the password oops what is the password is right now for the admin and you can check in the password that is repositories implementation and just go for the data seeding first and db initializer and in the db initializer class you can see what is the password right here so uh, star is right there so admin accurate one two three four and star and remember me but you logged in into the system then you can see that access denied so admin can access denied for your survey system okay but the user can access that uh, that survey okay so just register it and you can say that uh, your mm, new uh, user accounts okay so first of all user 5 at the rate of gmail.com and password is admin and just click to login register button and you can see that where the survey is right there so here we have a survey and you can just uh, go after the survey that is very satisfied very satisfied and very satisfied for both uh, for among services so just i would uh, use services of user yes thanks and just click on the submit button and here you can see that here we have a survey success dot csstml file just call it again so here we have survey success dot csstml file that's fine uh, and that is the service controller that is success message okay so that's fine and now you can see the output of your uh, service if admin can log in into the system then dash uh, then admin can go for the dashboard so here we have service system and just log into the admin account first of all admin at the rate of gmail.com and admin at the rate of one two three four star logged in and just go for the dashboard account and you can see that here we have a result of your satisfied unsatisfied and very satisfied fields that is the very satisfied survey field id one for that is abc okay so these are the and just go for the survey field and you can add these are survey fields okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to service system that is not completed right now but completed in the later videos. Thank you very much for watching.